Here now is Laura Windsor with a report on instant rejuvenation. When a facelift is just too extreme, but you want to do something to look younger, there are options that can give you similar results. Dr. Karen Benick, a cosmetic dermatologist from Mission Hospital and Mission Viejo, discusses those options. I would say we have three top procedures that can help our skin to look younger and better. The number one top procedure is Botox. Botox is a new, it's a wonder drug in a way. It basically softens or paralyzes the muscles that are causing the wrinkles. It's excellent for the upper third of the face. It helps to get rid of our little, we call them 11 lines or our frown lines between our eyebrows. Uh, it can also soften the horizontal lines that are across the forehead and the crow's feet. It basically works by stopping the nerve impulse that causes the muscle to contract. And these are expression lines on the top of the face. So when you paralyze or soften these muscles, the wrinkles just melt away. The second most common cosmetic procedure that we are seeing, seeing and doing because of its popularity and its effectiveness would be fillers. Fillers are excellent for the bottom third of the face. Uh, we have our choice of Restylane and Juvederm, which are called hyaluronic acid fillers. And what they do is they simply fill the depressed wrinkle. They puff it out and it stays that way anywhere from four to six months. We asked Dr. Benick, are these fillers safe? It is a safe product. It is naturally found in our skin. We find it in our normal connective tissue in between the cells and so it simply plumps out the skin. There's been some evidence that it also regenerates just a little bit of collagen so you can get a lasting effect. We also have a filler called Radius and that is made of calcium hydroxyl apatite spheres, which are little tiny bony spicules almost that are injected. And this actually stimulates the body to form collagen around these spheres. And this gives a longer lasting effect of one year up to two years. And is mostly used for deeper wrinkles. The last filler that I think we see used frequently is Sculptra, which is actually developed for HIV lipoatrophy. So that really volumizes the face because as we get older, that is the number one cause of our face looking older is we lose volume and Sculptra can re help replace that volume. The third most common procedure that we do in order to rejuvenate the face would be IPL, which stands for intense pulsed light. And that is a form of laser. It has wavelengths of light that will target the browns and the reds in the skin, which normally give our skin a blotched, irregular appearance and don't make it look healthy and vibrant and young. So when we do approximately six of these sessions, we get rid of a lot of the brown, a lot of the red, which just gives you a much healthier, more vibrant looking skin. Most lasers that we do today are done with the patient wide awake. Uh, maybe we'll use a little bit of local anesthesia. Uh, but the majority of lasers, we no longer have to put a patient under sedation, IV sedation or under general anesthesia. They are tolerable with just local anesthesia and maybe pain control by medication. As far as getting back to work after having a laser procedure done, if you're doing the IPL or intense pulsed light, you can go to work that night, that next day. There's no downtime. That is the beauty of the intense pulsed light treatment. Um, it's very gentle and so there is no significant downtime that you have to worry about. Instant rejuvenation is now possible with safe and effective Botox, natural fillers and IPL treatments that leave you looking and feeling years younger with no downtime. I'm Laura Windsor for the American Health Journal.